Hey, thanks for tuning in. Brian Young here. Today's video is on listing books on Amazon. Now I'm an Amazon FBA seller. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon and essentially means that when a, when a customer buys one of my products, one of my books, Amazon handles the fulfilling because Amazon has all my books and all my products at one of their various fulfillment centers throughout the United States. There's definitely, in my mind, benefits to selling on Amazon via FBA as opposed to Merchant Fulfilled, which is the traditional way to sell things online. If you're interested in Amazon FBA, uh, check it out. Google FBA or search YouTube videos. You can even do some research on, on FBA on the Amazon.com website. They'll give you all the, the, the reasons why Amazon FBA might be for you. Now, there's three steps for listing books on Amazon. The listing phase, the labeling phase, and the shipping phase. So I'm going to kind of very quickly go through each phase to help you have an understanding on uh, the best way to list things, list books for sale on Amazon. Now I utilize ScanPower as a listing service. Uh, I'm going to show you here. ScanPower.com. ScanPower is a third-party uh, company that offers uh, a listing service. So offers the software uh, to, for you to be able to list your items on Amazon quickly in a customizable format. Now pricing it, pricing will vary um, depending on what you want. We do the scan power listing package which comes with unlimited listing, unlimited web source, unlimited repricing. Um, there's some other packages, other products and services that they offer that you should check out. Excellent company. Um, I also have on my desktop here a Teo desktop scanner. It's a barcode scanner. That just helps speed the listing process along. Instead of having to enter in numbers by hand, I can just scan them and quickly move through books at a faster rate. I use a Dymo Label Writer 450 to print out barcodes for each of my products. So I'm going to go through just a couple books here just to kind of show you what the listing process looks like. Um, this is once you've signed up for ScanPower, this is what ScanPower list looks like. And so I started a new shipment. Um, and up here is where you'd enter your barcode numbers. So I'm going to enter a barcode number of a book here that we could sell on Amazon. So this would be the step after you've collected all your inventory, you've gone to the book sale, you've done your sourcing, and now you're going to enter in each item to just to let Amazon know that you have this item and you'd like to sell it. Okay, so I, this is the book that I have here. I have a hardcover. This is a rank of 142,000. It's free marketing 101 low and no cost ways to grow your business online and offline by Jim Cochran. Excellent book. Okay, so here's where you're going to want to enter your MSQ number. And this is a number of your choosing. This number is not seen by the customer. It's only seen by you, uh, but it'll help you track your inventory. And so, for um, example, I'm just going to put a 9002. 9, then what some people would do is they'd put an abbreviation or the name of the store they got the item from and maybe what they paid for, and that's just going to help them. Uh, reference their inventory down the road. If they're going to reprice or they're going to change things, they want to know how much they originally bought it for. The, this book is in ve used very good condition, and I have one of them. I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to do two things. I'm gonna pull up, it should pull up two boxes. Uh, one box in the middle is going to be for pricing. The other box up here to the upper left-hand corner will be for a label. Uh, my Dymo label, Rider 450. I'm going to print one label out. That's a, that's a perfect label. I'm going to put it right over the, the barcode on the back of the book. And then it's going to pull up some options here for pricing. So I have a use very good. There already is a use very good. There's a use good and, and a like new for a little more. New The new copy, these are all, so these prices right here oops, are all merchant fulfilled. Okay, so they're, they're shipping out of their home office or they're shipping out of a warehouse of their own. FBA sellers are shipping out of Amazon's fulfillment centers. But I'd match the FBA seller selling it very good. And I put my cost in here, 50 cents. That's it. So one book, slap the label on. I can move on to the next one. I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like from Amazon's side when you try to put the shipment in officially. So i got another book here, Jab, 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 Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. Okay, so ebook hard is a hardcover, rank 8 to 36. Um, you can set up with settings. If you go up here at the top, settings, list, you can set it up so it'll auto, automatically populate your SKU number, your MS, MSQ number, to uh, match or precede your previous one. So it automatically automatically come up 
um, 9003, the condition of this book. We're going to say used good. Again, printing another label, one label, one book. And while I'm, now I'm taking the label and putting it on the back of the book to cover the barcode so the am people at the Amazon Fulfillment Center don't get confused. And here we go. So there's no FBA sellers, only merchant fulfilled sellers. And I said my copy was in good condition. So if I wanted to match the merchant fulfilled one, that'd be seven dollars and twenty-one cents. But I, I really feel like I should be uh, well, somewhere around that number. But I'd probably go sixteen ninety-five for this book. I can always come down later, fifty cents for that one. And that's it. And so then what, what you can do now is you can finish shipment. So if you're on Amazon Seller Central, and you come up here and you go, um, these are all the different drop-down menus. If you go manage FBA shipments, this is where it brings you. And see, it has a shipment that I just created today. Two items. So I'll work on shipment. And that's going to bring up the shipment with those two books in it that I plan on, on sending off to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. If you want to review and modify the units, you can if you just want to check to make sure the books that you have are in there. And then it's pretty simple. How much does your box weigh? Calculate your shipping costs. Um, print your box label and you complete shipment. And so it'll, it'll, it'll print out a label that you just slap on the outside of the box and it'll charge your Amazon account, your seller account, for any shipping charges that this would, this would cost and you'd be done. And that concludes this video. So thanks for tuning in, watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful, this brief introduction on how to list books on Amazon for sale. If you have any questions, send me a message, post to the video below. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks again. Have a great day.